Hi, welcome back to my channel. This is Jennifer Scrapping Cane. Today I'm sharing an eight and a half by eleven layout, as usual. And today I'm using Color Cast Designs acrylic pieces. And basically, I just don't want to put them in my stash. They're brand new to my collection. I just received them this month, uh, the month of April, or March. Sorry, uh, April's actually just came out, but March. These ones were for March and. The cute little acrylic says hanging with my peeps and I thought it was perfect for this picture of my son hanging out with cousins and friends on Easter. And we just had a whole big little Easter party out in my mom's backyard and there was lots of little kids around. So we decided to sit them down and take a picture. That was fun. Um, yes, there's about six parents acting like fools on the other side trying to get all these kids to look at us. There's about 12 kids in the photo approximately from about probably four months all the way up to 10 i think is the oldest child in the photo which is my goddaughter and um actually she's probably nine no she's probably 10 um either way <laughs> she's nine or ten anyways there's a lot of kids and so we had fun taking a picture and i just wanted to get that documented i'm using simple stories in bloom collection and this green paper here was absolutely my favorite actually i have three sheets of it and this is the first time i've used one of them and i do want it to be a background so i took one of the chipboard frames and this is one of the four by six chipboard frames and I did peel it off so that it's a little bit flatter to the paper because I'm going to add acrylic on top of it. So I didn't want it to be too thick. And I lined up three of the other pattern papers or two of the other pattern papers and then one more piece of the green one at the bottom. So I'm going to lay the pink one down first. And that was just because um, I knew I wanted the green one at the bottom. So I laid down a big enough pink one so that I could lay the green on top of it. And the paper was a little bit short. I'm not sure why. Um, I think I went to cut it one way and I had to turn it and cut it the other way to cut it down to eight and a half by 11. So I miscut, but it's okay. In the end, it worked out. So I added the pink strip first, then the blue, and then the green grass one back on again. And then I'm going to add... The acrylic piece down at the bottom, it's kind of hard to see on screen. In real life, um, it does show up just fine since it's white. And it's, uh, like I said, it says hanging with my peeps. And I did white acrylic paint splatters here. I did white acrylic uh, brush strokes in the background. And I do that with a dry brush. So what you do is just take a fat dry brush and don't wet it with any type of water and then dip it in your paint and then brush it onto the paper and it leaves brush strokes on the paper so I was going for that look so that's why I did that and then I'm just using a foam paintbrush to go around the edge of the paper I'll come back in and do that again once it's dry um, I didn't have enough paint left over and it was too wet to hold the paper and do that so I'm going to add just a little bit more acrylic paint here. Now it's dry. Uh, my layout's dry. So um, I picked a little bit of it back up because I poured a little too much out. And since I use my white acrylic paint all the time, I accidentally left it open and the lid kind of clogged up. So I just haven't unclogged it. But anyways... I'm just using a sponge brush to go around the edge to add a white paint edge to this paper. And that just adds to the leafy distress that you see on this paper. And I really like the white on top of it. It kind of makes it pop just a little bit more. And then with the white acrylic piece, that helps it come all together too with the white acrylic paint. So I'm just adding that around the edge. And I think I'm done with the white acrylic paint now. And I'm going to go ahead and attach my photo. And I did add a piece of cardstock behind the photo and then attached it to the chipboard piece. And that was because the photo was exactly fitting in the frame. So I didn't want it to move. So in order to keep it from sliding around or moving, 
you know, because it didn't attach to the chipboard or whatever, um, just add a piece of white cardstock on top of it. So you can add a little paper layer to the cardboard and I'm hoping it'll attach a little bit more. Um, I haven't had any issues with any type of chipboard frame and it moving later on. So I'm not too worried about that. The liquid glue usually holds it in place. And here I'm going to add the acrylic title and I'm using Scotch Tacky Glue in my fine liner bottle. And pretty much I use the Scotch Tacky Glue for anything I attach down. Um, I have tried a few other ones. The Scotch Tacky Glue is just the one I prefer. But there are a few other brands out there that work pretty good too. And then I'm going to come in with some uh, acrylic flowers. Those are also from Colorcast Design. And I'm going to add a black uh, flatback pearl to the center of these flowers. And the reason I added black is because a lot of the children in the photo have darker hair. So you can see, you know, there's black in the photo. And then also I'm going to add a little word that says love at the bottom of the frame. That's one of the foam words. And it's in black circle letters. And then I'll also add happy day at the top which is um, in a black foam sticker from the Simple Stories foam stickers. So I want it to bring in a little bit more black. So by adding the black inserts to the foot, to the photos, sorry, to the flowers, it brought it all together. So, and these are the a cute, adorable little bunny rabbits that are going to go up here at the top. And those are going to go on my picture frame. And the colors just match perfectly with the photo because all the kids are wearing all different colors in the photo. And if I could have put 12 on the layout, I would have put 12 because, you know, they're that cute. But I just had six. So I'm just going to add the six little bunnies here in a row. <coughs> and then I'll add, um, you can see to the side, or the right hand side, I have out the flat back pearls. And I have them in like a teal, orange, and yellow. And I'm going to also add those around the layout. Um, basically by the word love. And then up at the top by happy day. And I'll add them down around the flowers. I was auditioning where I was going to put that word love. And I decided to put it below the chipboard frame. And then happy day I'm going to actually lay on top of the chipboard frame. And a little bit over the photo. And then love I put down and now I'll come in with a little flat back pearls. And I believe that's it. This was a pretty quick layout. Um, I kept it fairly simple because one, the photo's fairly busy with all the kids in it. Um, but also I really loved the background paper and I think it kind of just gave a great design all in itself. And then just adding little bits of acrylic here and there and brought it all together. And it turned out to be a great layout. Tomorrow is actually my official acrylic stash bashing layout with my friends, uh, Nicole Santos, Jessica Michaels, and Natalie Dill. I believe Nicole Santos might be the only one that has a layout for tomorrow. Not sure if Natalie got her layout completed or not, but we'll find out tomorrow. Thanks for joining me, guys. Bye.